Woe is she, reading number 11. Will you pray with me? Lord, I just finished filming the Hebrews preview. And I read that a lot of the context in the the purpose of the book of Hebrews is to present not only your sufficiency, but your superiority. You're sovereign, you're in control. I pray for the families that have experienced such heartbreak and devastation last night in the tornadoes here in Kentucky. I pray that this will be a wake up call for many that we don't know how much time we have here on this earth. Revelation 21, four, we will be out of this pain and suffering when we're in your presence. Lord, continue to pursue us, lead us and guide us, draw us near, help us, give us the strength to draw near to you, to share the good news of you, that there is a way out of this mess that we're in, this mess that we've created Forgive us for the times that we so arrogantly think that we are in control. You are clearly superior. You are clearly sovereign. We love you, Lord. And I pray that you will open our eyes to what you do give us to control. And I pray that you will light a fire in us and let that fire illuminate the truth of Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Forget the past. Do not dwell on such things. Today, December 11th, 2021 is a new beginning. A new thing has begun. Lord, let us perceive it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today's reading is Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. And again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. In speaking of the angels, he says, he makes his angels winds, his servants flames of fire. But about the son, he says, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, and righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you, by anointing you with the oil of joy. That's it for today. May we, by the grace of God, go willing, obedient, engaged, surrendered, hydrated, and empowered by the Holy Spirit. I love you dearly. Let's do this again.